Hi, my name is Nick Caruso, and today I'm answering a question from someone who I get once in a while, which is, can Autostore send to multiple destinations at the same time? The short answer is, it's very easy to send to multiple destinations if those destinations are statically assigned. For example, I want to scan a document, and I'm going to send it to an HR folder and an accounting folder. What becomes much more challenging is when those destinations are dynamically created, where I'm based upon the user selection. Maybe I want to send it to Bob, Sally, or Sue, um, or and Sue, which in this case I need to dynamically change the number of where I'm sending those documents. So if you've been using Autostore for a while, you'll probably be scratching your head as to how you can do that. So in this case, I'm showing an example using AutoCapture where I want to send a document to Bob, Sally, and Nick. And I'm representing those documents in a Windows folder structure right here. So I've got maybe perhaps a list of users and I want to dynamically pick which users I want to send to and, and to select that. I'm not going to show you how to create that pick list. Each capture component has a different way of doing that or you may need to select it, but it's usually a multi-select list. And usually those result in a semicolon delimited list of, of answers or responses. So when you, when you look at the Autostore configuration here, if I were to send an RRT, which has that semicolon delimit list, I can't just put that RRT in my send to folder configuration because it won't know what to do with a semicolon delimit list. So the only way, there might be different ways to do this, but the only way that I can re think of how to do this is to basically take your scan document, which has this RRT that's delimited, and I basically want to duplicate that entire job multiple times and isolate each job to just one selection in that semicolon delimited list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send here. And the result I'm going to show you in status monitor so you can see that result. So what you can see here is that I have a VB script running and what comes in is my semicolon delimited list. This is an RRT. And what I do is I break this list into an array, and I am iterating through that array three times for each element. And I'm going to create a new knowledge object, which is a KO. And a KO is simply just the container that contains all of your Autostore documents and all of the RRTs. So I'm going to duplicate a KO, in this case for Bob, and then Sally, and then Nick. I need to re-reference the path. When I, I, there's no function just to copy a KO, so I have to create a new one and then build it back up. So I have to assign the path to my temporary scanned path. I need to change the temp here. That's from an old training video, but anyway. And then I need to set a new RRT for just Bob. And then I do it again for Sally, and I do it again for Nick. And the result of this is that I will now have the equivalent of three KOs that will send separately to Bob based upon the RRT here, Bob, and then Sally, and then Nick. So let me actually go into the code so you can see a little bit about how this code works. This is very high level training, um, but uh, if you know a little bit of VB script, you should be able to um, go through this. So every um, VBScript process component has an onload and an on-unload. Uh, in my almost seven years doing this, I've never used the onload. So uh, I just use the onload and just make sure that the function is prefixed with the name that you assign it in the VBScript process component. Okay, EKO manager status message is just us sending messages to the status monitor. I'm, uh, this is what you would norm normally see at almost all VB script process components. You're just making sure that um, there is a document uh, and that there is a topic which contains the RRTs. Um, I'm going to go over this check to run in, at the end of this video in just a second. All right, I, get, I first get access to the file uh, for my current document, and I just store that in a variable. I then split my people, which is I'm passing that in. As a global variable. I'm splitting that into an array. I loop through this array, which creates this new single person, which, which should, in this case should create Bob, Sally, Nick, etc. And then here is where I create a new knowledge object. Unfortunately, there's not a copy knowledge object, 
Uh, there's just add. So I'm just creating a new knowledge object. So at this point, there's a new knowledge object that's blank that's sitting in auto store in memory. I then add a new document to this knowledge object. I assign the file path of, of the original file. I then create a new um, topic and I assign a variable in here called don't process me again. I'll go over that in a second. I then create a new content and this is where I want to store my I copy my RRTs and, and create a new one. So in this case I'm copying the existing knowledge content which would contain any existing RRTs. I create a new um, RRT which will just create the person. I'm going to be using this in my center folder and then I'm done. And then I, so once I'm done with my loop, I set my current knowledge object to zero because it'll bomb out if it tries to send a semicolon delimited list. Uh, and then I'm done. Now, the problem is, is that when I create a new knowledge object here, for some reason, this script is going to get fired one more time for each new document I, or knowledge object I create. And if I do that, it's just going to go through an infinite loop. So what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a, a new entry in my topic, which is basically a new variable called don't process me again. So if I see this variable, I know that I'm not, I shouldn't run this script again. So basically, um, if this is nothing, then I should run it if it's, uh, if it contains something, which means it's, a, it was a knowledge object I created. I'm just going to skip it and just say skipping this. And if you go back to the status monitor, you'll see it in here. Um, skipping because when this got run, it was run um, because of a new knowledge object that, that was created. So, so if I go into in, into the auto capture here, you'll see I just created a, a field called people. In order to, for the VB script to see that RRT, I want to pass in. I'm going to create a new variable called people. I'm going to pass in the auto capture RRT. So this will become a global variable now. Um, now these arrows get confusing. You might think that um, people is now a global variable passed in by reference. That's not the case. So um, it just means that you're passing into VBScript. All right, so here's my VBScript code I just went over. And then in my sent to folder, I am using my new RT. And that's it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. Um, my email address is nick.caruso at nuance.com. Thank you.